What's up, guys? This is Adam, and I don't know if I read this part. Uh, well, let's just skip it anyway. Oh, they're all filled with glee. And filled with happiness. What? No. No, check. Change the clothes? Check. Ah, there we are. So we got everything ready for the trip to the other place that I... Kyoto. What, what the hell is Kyoto? Okay, in that case, uh, one night, two... How does that work? Oh, I'm... Duh, I haven't had tea yet. I should have had tea. Uh, my mind is not in the right place. Two days stay in Kyoto. Oh, let's go. Mm. Now, as for our I itinerary? Yeah, itinerary from Tio... Oh my god. Tokyo to Kyoto. Oh, we gotta take these blasted trains, haven't we? We'll get on the thingamabob <laughs> from here to Tokyo Station. Then the Shinkansen. What? What is it? Are you that fired up about riding the Shinkansen? Why is he fired up? You're too lively. Should not have named you me. Of, co of course I am. It's the Shinkansen. What? It's just a train. What? Not only is it the fastest train in the world, it's no lie to say it's the safest, most techno, techn, and technologically advanced train out there. Okay. Wow. Is that so? It sure is. I mean, I've been really hoping to ride the Shinkansen at least once. Well, you've got your wish. It's like you read a diary. Did you write a diary? Wow, I'm so looking forward to this, you sad child. <laughs> I'm sure you are. But first we need to buy our tickets, too, to get on. Sure, let's do that. I hope we don't get another incident. <laughs> well, I can't really say dreadful, but, you know. First, there are several thingamabob lines when I can't say that in her voice, it's annoying. Or I'm just that lazy, whichever you prefer. When you get out of Tokyo, the oh god, yeah. the fir the one that goes to Kyoto is called the Takaido, close to Hokkaido. <laughs> uh, thing about Tokaido Shinkansen, right? Put a H in instead of a T. Yes. There are also three kinds of Tokaido Shinkansen. I tried. Oh my. Those are the Nozo Nozomi? The Hikari. Hikari. I've heard of that. And the. And the. And the. Kodama. Jesus, Mary in heaven. That's right. The Kodama. <laughs> stops at every station, but the Hikari... That's gonna annoy me. Hikari, what's that off? And Nozomi, and Nozomi only stop at the important ones. There are special express trains in every sense of the word. Hikari. I know I've heard it off an anime, but I don't remember which one. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Between the two, the Hikari... You're, you're torturing me, aren't you? Takes shorter s stops at each station than the Nozomi. There's about 500 k uh, kilometers between Tokyo and Kyoto. The... I, I probably said that. Uh, it's probably not kilometers, whatever. The, Nozo the Nozomi makes the trip in about 2 hours, 20 minutes. Two hours, twenty minutes. That's even faster than I thought. By the way, all the trains cost the same amount, so if you're going to a major station like Kyoto or Osaka, it's better to take the Nozomi. Oh my god, see, this is a catchphrase. Now, about the tickets. To ride the Shinkansen, 
you'll need both a boarding pass and a special express ticket. Oh, more money dwindling away and I'm going to have a heart attack. Then, you'll choose between free seating or reserved seating. Uh, how could we choose between reserved seating? Unless you mean we're, like, we're reserving our own, but that seems pretty pointless in the grand scheme of things. Because it's not like we're planning ahead of time. Hmm. A boarding pass and an express ticket. Then free seating or reserved seating. The Oh my sweet buttery Jesus. 95 euros for that? Jesus. Oh god. I think my heart stopped. <laughs> A one way free seating ticket to Kyoto is about 13,000 yen. But... Uh, a round trip ticket is a little cheaper each way, so it's best to go round trip for your boarding pass whenever possible. Round trip, got it, I'll remember that. Now, to buy in Japanese JR stations, there are ticket counters called Midori. No, oh my, Madoguchi? with vending machines in the larger stations. You can also purchase tickets at travel agency counters in some stations. How grand. Oh my. I can't believe we're getting information on this. Does he care that much? If you go to a travel agency, you can sometimes buy them in a bundle with hotel reservations at a discount price. How grand. At least you didn't say I see. Oh, right. Only chance. When we go to Kyoto, make sure our seats are... Are what? I got it. On the right side, right? Why does that matter? Yeah, you always know what I'm thinking, old Nichan. Seats on the right side? Why? Is it because you like to watch the view as you go by? Because... Da da da... Because... Nope, I'm not telling right now. <laughs> You'll see soon enough. Oh, God. What? Now you've got me curious. Tell me! No way. Oh, that face, you just love it. Feh. Then, Makoto. <laughs> if you can't get it from the first sister, go to the next one. No way, Oni-chan. Don't tell him. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Damn it. Huh? Now, first we'll buy the tickets, then we'll get our bento and board the train. We're buying bento before we go on the train. Maybe it's cheaper. Of course, long ago they had restaurant cars on the uh, Shinkansen itself. Why not now? But as the travel times got faster and faster, oh, right, that makes sense. They stopped doing it because there was less need to eat a slow meal on the train. I don't know if we do want a slow meal on the train. I mean, sure, it takes long, but read a book or something. So, sort of in place of that, they started selling special bento in the larger stations known as Ikaiben. That usually contained the region's special speci uh, specialty food. How glorious. Eating in Ikaben while chatting with friends and watching the scenery pass by is part of the fun of the train ride. Is that why she wants to sit on the right side? I mean, I guessed it, but you haven't told me if I'm right or wrong. Yeah. In other words, it's a way to make the trip itself special. That's exactly it. Well, that does sound kind of right in the grand scheme of things. It's not just a mode of Trans transformation. I get the meaning. Uh, I get the feeling that's supposed to be transportation. Well, let's just roll with it. Transformation, but a part of the journey. This is getting really exciting. Oh God! Calm yourself. Five euros? Just what? What's this for now? So we just bought our bent. Oh, right, so we spent a hundred euros already. Jesus. 
our bento and got through the gate. Now we wait for the Shinkansen to arrive. Shink oh god, calm yourself. <laughs> You're excited. You're as excited as a child. But... Oh my god. I said it once, I'll say it again. You're the death of me, you are. It's here. It's a train, calm down. If it was a steam train, I'd, I'd uh, join in with your enthusiasm, but it's not, so... You have nothing to be enthusiastic about. Whoa, that's a Shinkansen. You mean you know about it, but you have no idea what it looks like? Okay. Yes. It's the newest model, the N700. Ugh, take away the two zeros. It's the real thing. It's like a perfectly streamlined form. It's like a smart train. It's amazing. You can tell it's fast just by looking at it. Oh, God. Well, it's worth nothing that since the trains first started running, the trip time to Kyoto has been reduced by nearly one hour. Oh, so it was three hours before. That's not really long in the grand scheme of things. An hour? That's completely amazing. When you put it that way. Oh, shut up. I wonder how hard they must have worked to shrink the time by an hour. Come on, it's fine for you to be excited, but don't space out all all the train will leave without us. Uh, Kira's got it right. Da, da, da. Da, da, are we skipping the train ride? No, we're not. It looks like a plane window. So, have you calmed down a little? Uh, you're insane. I've been calm the whole time. Don't lie to me, or I'll kill you. Please, you're insane is my line. <laughs> You've been spazzing out since we got on the train. Now we've been on the train 40 minutes, and you've been spazzing out the whole time. I'm not. Don't say you're not spazzing. Come on, let him be. There's nothing wrong with him enjoying himself, right? Yeah, speaking of right, what is it with the right side? Am I right? Yeah, I mean, this is totally amazing. Well, at least you're easy to please. These seats are so comfortable. You can recline them so far. I hope there's no one behind you. And even though we're racing through at 300km H, I have no idea what that is. I don't... F oh, 300 kilometers an hour. I hope. <laughs> I don't feel the slightest vibration. Each seat even has its own power outlet, and you can even connect to the internet. I can't believe how advanced Japan is with stuff like this. Well, they're not wrong. He's not wrong, rather. See, you're completely spazzing out right now. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, torture him. You are my wrath. Now, now, enough with the fl Oh. You had to taint it, didn't you? Enough of the flirting, you two. Huh? We're not flirting. Really? From my point of view, it looked exactly like flirting. I bl banged my table, yes, because she tainted my punishment. That's why I'm telling. Uh, that's why I'm telling you we're not. It's going. It's going to sound like you're protesting too much. Huh? Oh. Okay. Come on, Noni Chan. You're always quick to say such strange things. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, hmm, it's about time. Ah. What, is this why we're on the right side? What is it? It's about time for what? <laughs> Remember earlier when I asked for seats on the right side of the train? There's something that we need to see on the right side. I was right. You're going to learn why very soon. Ah, it's in sight, you two. Look. Ah, what are we looking at? A mountain? Dot, dot, dot. That's Japan's greatest mountain, Mount Fuji. Ryuji! Oh, sorry. I think it was said like that. Mount Fuji. That snow crest peak. Crested peak. That gentle slope. Really, you're making it sound poetic. So peaceful and solemn, but with such a presence. How can I describe it? It's a mountain. To just call it beautiful feels almost 
trite. Never heard of that. It's 3,776 meters tall. The tallest active volcano. The fuck? Huh? Active volcano? Mount Fuji is an active volcano? Yes. Oh my, my voice is dying. I should have had my tea. Yes, it is. Its last eruption was about 300 years ago, and until 15 years ago, they thought it might have gone dormant. Well, changed. But when they learned that it was still active internally, they reclassified it as an active volcano again. That's an active volcano. Yeah, I'm actually terrified. If it's near our location, um, and we feel a slight tremor, we're gone. We're gone. They say that the last time it had erupted, the ash reached all the way to Tokyo. Jeez. Oh, God. We need to get out the country. <laughs> so far. i become so numb. I can feel it. I don't know why. I thought so numb was so far for a second. I was just like, what? When we look... When we look at the earlier data, we see that Mount Fuji's eruption have eruptions have not set have no set period, but the longest dormant period was a little under 300 years. And as Only Chan said, the last eruption was 300 years ago. That means it could <laughs> erupt at any time. Yes. Dot dot dot. There are various theories as to why it's called Mount Fuji. One al alternative meaning of the word Fuji is unique, while another is undying. Some theorize that the name stems from unique mountain or undying mountain. Ah, they both sound interesting. And undi an undying mountain. Glorious. Yes, that explanation posit posits that as an active volcano, the ancients thought of it as as a living mountain. Well, it, in a sense it is. A living mountain. Say, can you climb to the top of Mount Fuji? Yes, you can. Although, you can only get halfway by up by car. And past that, you need to climb on foot. Generally speaking, lodges on the mountainside only open in the summer, around July and August. So if you want to climb it, you need to go during that period. So what period are we in now, then? I see. Mount Fuji, Japan's greatest mountain. Someday, I'd like to climb it myself. You see? Uh, he has a death witch. Da 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 da. A lot of dots. Uh, thank you for riding with us today. Go away. Kyoto, Kyoto, please be sure to have your belongings when with you when you disembark. Why did they say Kyoto twice? The light it burns! Um. Ah, we're here. How glorious. This is Japan's old capital. Kyoto. Kyoto? Damn it, chair! Kyoto was Japan's capital for over a thousand years, until it was changed over to t Tokyo in 1867. Or changed. For over a thousand years. Kyoto, Kyoto became capital in the year 794. Before that, Japan's government was based in Nara Prefecture, and it moved with each change of the head of state. But in 794, they built a new ca new city in on this island. It was known as Hyen Kyo, probably, and its layout was based on the contemporary capital of China. That city remained as Japan's capital for over a thousand years afterward. Such a long time, huh? But hmm, what's wrong? What year did the Edo period start? In 1603. Wasn't Tio Tokyo the center of government during the Edo period? In that case, Kyoto should have stopped being the capital that year. 
<laughs> you make a good point. It's true that the center of Japanese government was moved to Tokyo, Tokyo during that during the Edo period. But while the shogun in Edo had the real power, the formal head of the government was not the shogun himself, but the emperor here in Kyoto. Oh. So even during the Edo period, the Jap the Jap the Japan Japanese government was technically centered in Kyoto. And even when it officially moved to Edo, Kyoto and Osaka next door continued to grow as if they were still the capital, right? That's right. Oh, my voice is dying. That's right. I see. So you could say Kyoto is the city that maintains the traditions, traditions, forms, and culture of Japan's good old days. I see. I guess even... I guess even I think of traditional Japanese culture when I think of Kyoto. You do? Don't lie to me! But still, I'm treacherous and you ordered. How fun. Hehe, <laughs> but you'd rather be seeing the town for yourself instead of listening to our lectures, right? And. Oh my! Um. Well, um, this can go either way. Uh, <laughs> because we can read your, read your face like a book, right, Akira? Yeah, especially when you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glorious. Perverted things. No way. Well, after what you tried to do on day three, can you blame her? Ah, a response like that. Wait a minute. You mean you do think of those things? Um... You're gonna have to elaborate a minute. For a bit. N n no. That was just an automatic response, that's all. What are you saying we're lacking in womanly charms? Oh... God. You've dug yourself a grave. That's it. I'm gone. Have fun by yourself. What are you talking about? Do you want me to think of those things or not? Ooh. Well, that isn't actually a bad line. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that should be used more often. Well then. That's... Oh, you idiot. Of course I don't want you to think about it, you perf. I told you, I'm not... Come on now, Aki-chan. Let's put this strange quarrel to rest. Concerning the earlier issue, it's no wonder you're more interested in the modern town. <coughs> Kyoto's still a major metropolis, after all. So it's still gradually changing as new people and shops come in. I see. Now that you mention it, I can see that it's true. So many C's. Well, as long as we're here, we really should look around or look all around. So let's cut the chit chat. It's time for the quick tour. Yes, it is. How lovely. That's what I've been waiting for. So, where should we start? Let me see. Well, yeah, you two should decide. I think that's the best place, don't you? What? Did I miss something? No, I didn't. That? That! <laughs> that would be in a cubicle matter! <laughs> First the entry- Two dollar! Two dollar! Two euros! The euros? Euros! What is that? 